Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and you join me once again, pretending to be a computer company in Computer Tycoon. And my computer company is called, of course, Phoenix, because we are rising from the ashes of, well, previous successes, to be honest, <laughs> once again. So this is the third series of the game. And yeah, although I am playing in hard mode, I appear to be doing quite well, which you will notice if you've seen the previous episodes that this map is looking a good deal greener, that is my company colour, than it used to be in the previous, well, any of the previous episodes. We are making inroads across the globe to sell our fabulous computers. Also, I'm no longer selling just one or two percent of the global global computer market. I am accounting for over seven and a half percent of all the computers sold across the world. I am no longer making just 200, 500, 800 thousand dollars a day. I'm making over one and a half million a day. My bank balance is over 350 million. This is outrageous behavior. How have I achieved this? Well, since you were last with me, we've moved on almost a year. We've completed some research, we've, replete, we've completed SCSI and the 8-inch floppy disk drive, all oh, those were the days, um, and also I've just recently completed the gun controller accessory research, which we'll, we'll start adding into our computers um, since then. But the main thing is, because I'd made so much money and my bank balance was looking so good in the previous episodes, look, last year I made <laughs> nearly 200 million. Whoa, I've been able to spend on building logistics offices across the world, well, in the countries I have sites anyway, and expanding into many new countries. For example, Morocco, 14 million people. I have expanded into Oman, four, well, nearly 5 million people, into Kazakhstan, over 18, nearly 19 million people, and also India, yes! nearly 26 million people. Now, India is the one country where I haven't assumed dominance yet. As you can see, the blue company, Afari Solutions, are still hanging on in there. If we come over here, yeah, you can see they've got... But then again, to be honest, if I've only got 40% of 26 million people, that's, that's a fair chunk of revenue, isn't it? That is indeed... <laughs> Uh, so I think, have I forgotten any other countries I've bought into? No, so I've bought into those. And I'm targeting um, the blue country, the Afari Solutions, because if we look at the uh, market share graph, yeah, they're the big boys. My percentage of the sales obviously has, has grown. I'm now eclipsing um, Brutal, Dator, uh, Forsha Chips. Um, I'm approaching Cheap and Great. Um, just about. I think this year I'm, I hopefully will overtake them. Uh, Bix computers are hanging on in there, but I'm trying to eat away into the share held by Afari Solutions because I can't win if they've got 60% of the market. That ain't going to happen. So I've got to take that away from them. And as you can see here, um, yeah, my, my sales, where are we? We're in the middle of June 1982 and I've already sold over two thirds, I imagine, of what I sold in the whole of last year. That's pretty good going, if you ask me. Yeah, uh, on my sites, if we go into my site, should we start in the Bahamas, where we started with just two, um, way back, what is it, 13, 14 episodes ago? I can't remember now. <laughs> it was a while ago. So yeah, we've built our big factory in the Bahamas. In Ghana, um, have I upped the research? I haven't because Ghana is um, an average wealth country, I think, isn't it? Uh, can I tell this here? I can't tell this here, can I? No, it can't. No, I can't. Oh, but does it tell me here? No, it doesn't. Well, that's annoying, isn't it? It would be nice if it told me what the wealth, the wealth of the country was here. Uh, we have, we've moved into Lithuania. I've upped the uh, factory level in Lithu Lithuania. We've got now, I think, three or four sites with the biggest factory I can build at the moment. Well, the biggest factory I want to build at the moment. Uh, Lithuania has grown. Uh, Guinea. I'm increasing the research capacity here in Guinea, which is a filthy rich country. Uh, so it costs much less to do that. So I'm making <laughs> over one and a half million a day. I can spend money on research now. That's not a problem at all. Uh, so Guinea, uh, we're in South Georgia, Georgia and 
whatever the name of that was. It's down in the South Atlantic. Yeah. Um, so I'm building a, a factory there. Uh, out of the way. Ireland. I've moved into Ireland. Now, just like, do you remember the good old days when Ireland used to be the tiger economy of Europe? Uh, they had all sorts of tax incentives and, and they were really business focused. So I'm sort of reliving those days now by building big factories, big offices and big logistics operations in Ireland. And why not? In the game, it's a really poor country. But, you know, what the heck? Libya, doing well in Libya. Yeah, that's just an ordinary site now. Uh, Honduras, that's fine. We've got there. La moved into Latvia. The Central African Republic. This is my newest country, I think. Yeah, it is my newest country. And we're building research here because it is a filthy rich country. Uh, if I go to the market list, uh, if I go to my site list, in fact, uh, all of them. Yeah, uh, yeah, filthy rich. Yeah, so it's cheaper to do research there. I want to do research because other people are catching up with me. I think if we go to the queue here, we can see uh, some of the, the big ticket items at the moment. Modular computer design, the 8080 chip or CPU. Um, they should be a lot more expensive than they are now. And that's because I think other companies have already researched them. Research costs less if someone has already done the sort of the bleeding edge, the sort of prototype working as it were of that uh, someone is clearly moving into PCs which is the next generation of computers um, and I don't want to get left behind in that so I'm in my research I'm moving towards that I'm moving towards the 8080 chip that's a little bit away uh, modular computer design that's the key design uh, the, com the key research once you've got that you can then start building PCs um, you will still need a couple of other components like the 8080, uh, which you need for PCs. Um, and I think the tape drive, yeah, the tape drive, the blue one here, that's also needed for PCs. But um, I've got those. So once we've got the 8080 and the modular computer, then I can start moving up into, uh, into PCs from home computers. But the big news really here is that my demand is far outstripping my... <laughs> my capacity to sell or produce. I've got three and a half, oh, it's gone down. It was over three, it was nearly four million there. You saw it, didn't you, before I got the game running? Oh well, okay, I'm slightly over under producing at the moment because I do have quite a large stockpile still. But I've got two logistics points, uh, so I can spend Your those somewhere. Your upgrade has completed. Uh, that's the laboratory, so I've now got more research. Uh, the 10 micron research is like uh, VLSI, it cuts down on the production costs. It means you can get more things on a wafer, or as we like to say in this country, on a wafer. Um, but yes, you, you know what I'm refer referring to there. <laughs> right, where can I spend my logistics um, points? Uh, I want a new country. Um, do we want, what we'll do is we will do an opponent filter so I'm just seeing those which are blue, brown, and yellow. So we'll go for the, them in price order. I think that makes my life simpler. Uh, are they in price order? No, then, no, that's, that's state. No, that's cost, that's the correct thing. Okay, so what are we looking at here? Again, I'm going to continue targeting, I think, blue country. Blue countries, the uh, Afari solutions. South Africa, that's nice. The only thing with poverty countries, of course, is you make less profit from them. So if I can find a um, rich or filthy rich country to go into. I looked at Indonesia before, I could go there. I mean, I've got enough money. I, <laughs> would, that, I would still be above 300 million in the bank by going there. But that is such a big market. Chad is quite interesting. That's even bigger. Argentina, uh, that's poor. The Democratic Republic of wherever. Uh, is that the Congo? I think that's, yeah, the Democratic Republic of the Congo. That's that one there. Could go there. Again, I'm not really looking at their preferences now because I just want to sell computers and I'm sure I could sell some in the, in the DRC if I wanted to. So could we do that? Where else? 
I, well, I could, I could go to two countries for one point a piece, but no, South Africa looks interesting. Argentina. I'll make more profit from Argentina, I think, because it's poor as opposed to poverty. I am so keen to go into Indonesia. So why am I prevaricating? Why am I pausing? I'm not going to. I'm going to go into Indonesia. There you are. Right, now, before I get the game running again, let's make sure all my factories are producing at top. Uh, at their maximum output level. Uh, Your building so upgrade has completed. Need you to go out. Your building upgrade has completed. Yeah, logistics. Oh, I've got more logistics. Oh, I've got been buying. Log I've been upgrading my logistics offices, so I can move into more countries because I can afford it now. Uh, Libya, you can go up. Yeah, I'm just about meeting demand. Honduras, you can go up. Yeah. Latvia, you can go up. You have researched a new technology. Right. Okay. Now, when when I said I'd research the eight-inch floppy diskette, I have, but I haven't actually built a new computer with the floppy disk drive. It was a stupid error on my part. I, I built a new computer with SCSI, but not the floppy disk drive. Uh, so I need to do that. I think. Uh, oh, I'm, again, I'm overproducing. How am I doing though? In am I not selling anything in the DRC? Oh, I went to Indonesia, didn't I? <laughs> That's why I'm not selling DRs. Look at that, I'm doing so well there already. And I have the best home computer for the good people of Indonesia. Look at that. Right, and again, demand is outstripping my ability to produce stuff. Okay, so let's look at our computers. Uh, sorry, not our computers, our hardware. We've got the floppy disk. We've also got, I've just created that hardware component, so I can now put that into my computer. I did that before, just before you joined me. Uh, now, the 10 micron, which I've just researched, is up here. And that affects CPU, motherboards, memory, and video cards. So I need to build four new components. Okay, so we'll take the CPU. So we'll take this one, we'll copy you. And we'll make you 10 micron. And we will call you C because you're the, the third generation of 4040 that we've produced. Uh, actually, if I take that out, that's 197. So can I? Oh, I can multiply it now because I've got 10 micron. Oh, that does make it a lot more expensive. <laughs> uh, but I could increase the base clock. I think. Yeah, let's do that. If we take it up to say 175, something like that. Performance is one area that I'm missing out on at the moment, looking at other companies' computers. But I think a large part of that is actually because I didn't actually build the, uh, the, the floppy disk drive into my latest model. So that's the CPU, the motherboard. Uh, let's take you. And we'll copy you. And we'll make you 10 micron. Uh, can we improve the quality or features? We probably can a little bit. Yeah, without approaching the cost that it used to be before we had the 10 micron technology. Um, we'll call this six because I've got a random naming system. Uh, so we've got the motherboard. We've, is memory was memory one of them as well? I think it was, wasn't it? It was indeed. So this is the C generation. <laughs> I'm sure there's a logic to this, but there you are. Uh, okay, good. Yeah, the multiplier really does increase the cost of it. Let's make this bigger. 0.5 kilobytes. Actually, if we make it two. Oh, that's good. That's still nowhere near what it was before I put the 10 micron in. That's good. And we can increase the base clock to 250. 
Yeah. I think I'm still a little bit cheaper than it used to be. But whatever, I'm going to make money cause I, because, because I can. <laughs> because people like my computers. And finally, a video card. Let's click, let's click you away. Okay, ooh, this is only our second video card. So we might as well just call you two. Uh, we'll add the 10 micron in. Uh, okay, can we take the memory up to 0 0.5? We can, the base clock. We can take that up as well. 780, sounds good to me. Right, excellent. Right, so we've now got our new components. So time to design our new computer. Uh, yeah, as you can see here, uh, Bigs Computers they, and Afari, they've got much better performance than I have because they have already got the floppy disk drive in there. Uh, but they don't appear. They're still on VLSI, so their costs are still going to be quite high. What about Afari? big guys in here no they're still not on 10 micron so their costs by the look of it will be more than mine which is a good thing which is a very good thing so my latest computer was that one so let's copy this design and we will call this one we're in 1982 so it's our first computer of 1982 and can we give it a FDD, because that's the obvious thing that customers will see. They'll see a diskette drive on the front, which they've not seen before. Right, so the accessories. We can now add the gun controller. We can add our latest memory. Our CPU is better. Our removable media is now awesome. Uh, the GPU card is also improved. The, power, the motherboard is likewise improved. Okay, so our performance, 13. That's looking a lot better in comparison to the competition. So we will save this design. We will create the prototype. Your new computer model went into the testing phase. Excellent. Right, so let's keep the game running. I'm still losing out in India. But I'm not making it enough. Uh, so I need a bigger site somewhere. Whoops. Uh, so, level three. Let's sort these in terms of the factory size. We've got level three in Bahamas, Lithuania, Ireland. These are the big and expensive factories. Right, I could next upgrade south georgia and the south sandwich islands oh, how could i have forgot sandwiches dear me that was reckless of me but to do that i do need to increase the recreation level because that's a requirement for a level three factory because that many staff on the payroll you do need to give them somewhere to go in between shifts so this eight percent of the global market i'm making <laughs> nearly three million a day yikes but mike Capacity, my manufacturing capacity is very much lower than the demand. I've got a stockpile which will see me through for a few days, but that's going to run out very, very well tomorrow. It's going to run out tomorrow, isn't it? No, not tomorrow. Today, maybe. Well, no, maybe not. Okay. <laughs> so, um, but what can we do in the meantime? We could raise the cost of our computers, but I'm not going to do that. Your building upgrade has completed. Thank you. So we've got that. Where was where was that? I forgot. Oh, the South Sandwich Islands, which was down here somewhere, wasn't it? There you are. So we can now build our next level. Um, I guess our, our next level recreation site, recreation area, which is a gym. In addition to the coffee shop, and then I can increase the size of the factory here. Which will give me just enough, I think, to meet my current demand. But I've got eight logistics points now, so I could, I very easily, I really so could, move into yet more countries. 8.27% of the global market. 
Our research into CLI is going nicely. CLI is... Um, I'm not sure how important that is at the moment in terms of going to PCs. I don't think it's a key technology for that. We can always check the tree, actually, can't we? Where's CLI? Your building upgrade has completed. Yes, I know. Thank you. Uh, CLI. Where was that? That was software, wasn't it? There you are. Oh, CLI is in blue. So, yes, that is going to be a key technology for PCs. Because that leads on to mouse support. Time sharing. And, well, time sharing. <laughs> yes, as well. Which moves us into, into Linux and stuff. Right. Uh, so, we've got in the Sandwich Islands, we've got uh, level two recreation, so we can now build a level three recreation. That's good. Once that's done, we can build our level three factory in those islands in the middle of absolutely nowhere. Your new computer model is polished. Okay, so my new model is ready. And if we look at it, how does it compare? Ooh, yikes. Okay, Bram, that's the bigs computer guy, isn't it? Uh, yeah, they, they're they beating me on quality, which I, I think that's what that stands for. <laughs> I always get them mixed up. Um, yeah, quality. Now that's interesting. Why are they beating me on quality? Interesting. Uh, so, um, yes, ah, oh, they, they've, yeah, they've created a new computer recently. So, how have they managed to get that sort of quality? They've got all the accessories. I, are they, they're probably. Oh no, the quality. Oh, that's interesting. Their motherboard is is poor, relatively poor quality compared to mine. Uh, but their graphics, they've bumped up the graphics a lot. Ah, oh, yeah. It's interesting what different strategies the AI companies take in terms of um, in terms of what attributes they they want to focus on. Ah. I suppose that the idea is to give you a broad sort of mix of competition tiles, types and styles, uh, which you need to, to match your computers against. Okay, so if we Let's not do that. What I like to do is go in here. So, our current home computer is cost me just over one thousand to build. I'm selling it for four thousand, and uh, yeah, quite a few people are buying it. Well, this is good. I'm getting a much better mix now of the types of users buying the computers. But obviously, this one isn't going to sell to cheapskates. Does my oldest computer sell to cheapskates? Yeah, I mean, not so much, but uh, 582 compared to, oh yeah, yeah, obviously yeah, that one's still into the cheaper end of the market. I do have quite a few poor countries uh, on my, the, into which I can sell. So, uh, what am I looking at here? Oh, I was looking at prices, wasn't I? So my last computer, the SCSI, I was, that, that's a, yeah, that's a lot of, lot of profit there. 4099. I, I think we can sell this for actually this this I am above the average price that people what I'll do if I'll make that just 419 okay and then drop the price of my previous model the old SCSI machine to 399. Oh, no, 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 not that, not that many nines. No, that's better. I'm still making a modest profit in the poorest country. I could sell it for a bit cheaper, couldn't I? What if I sold it for 49? Yeah, let's try that. How does that compare to. Ooh, the TTY, that's more expensive. No, we need to price that one down. Yeah, we can do that. And what I'll actually, I'll actually archive this oldest model, even though it's still selling very, very well indeed. But now we've got this. Ah, oh, that was like my last blinking lights computer. Ah, oh, end of a generation, end of an era. 
Right, so let's market you. Get the game running. 620 sold. <laughs> Over three and a half million demanded. Uh, okay, that's production points. It's not actually computers. It's uh, Yes, it's a mathematical representation, as we know. And I don't think I've got any spare capacity anywhere, have I? No, these are all running at 100%. Even my more expensive factories. I could even upgrade Ghana, but I'm not going to. Uh, Honduras, we could upgrade you. Perhaps I should build factories which aren't in the middle of oceans. <laughs> it's a good job that the sales, the logistics of sales and distribution aren't, aren't represented in the game. So yeah, distributing computers from the middle of the Atlantic or Pacific Ocean um, makes no difference whether it's from the central of Europe or the center of the Atlantic. No, <laughs> the costs are all the same. Um, right, so we could increase at Honduras or... I don't, I've got a, don't think I've got a big factory in, uh, in Africa. So we could do Libya. So let's upgrade the recreation facilities in Libya. We'll do that. Uh, but we do want to the South Georgia Islands. Where have you gone? There you are. We want to upgrade that factory. Are you not... Oh, you're not ready yet. Oh, you're, you're very nearly ready. Your there building upgrade has completed. So I can now upgrade that to a level three factory, which will give me 540,000. Again, it's still not quite meeting demand, but it's, it helps reduce the costs by having all these, these factories in, in the poorest countries. I've got India. Oh my, although I've lost Oman. <laughs> and Somalia. Oh, that's interesting. Why? Although I'm the best there. Okay, cure. Again, I'm wondering if that is in any way to do with the fact that I'm not actually meeting demand. Your building upgrade has completed. Uh, so the recreation center is done in Libya, which means I need to... Your building upgrade has completed. Build, uh, increase that again to level two. There you go. Okay, yeah, my... my my production capacity has increased, but it's still nowhere near meeting demand. This is uh, this is impressive. Oh, we've got Oman back. Excellent. Oh, that, oh, that's the other part of India, isn't it? Yes, of course, India is is kind of split, isn't it? I think. Hmm. Not sure of the geography and politics of. Oh, what's happening to Niger? Ah, is that a tussle for dominance? Could be, could be, who knows. But I'm making nearly two and a, two, over two million a day, which is also the good. Right, I've got all my countries back by the look of it. Your building upgrade has completed. That is excellent. So Libya, let's get that level three. Let's get the, uh, it's not a gym. What is it? What is it they- You don't have enough manufacturing yes, I know capacity. Yes, so much. Oh, it's all the other food outlets, isn't it? That's level three, right. I'm still a bit short, but once Libya's got the third recreation level, we can upgrade the factory there, and that should get me... Yeah, that should meet demand from there. That would be excellent. How are the computers doing? Oh, we're selling quite nicely. Everybody loves it. Everybody loves it. Your building upgrade has completed. I don't like losing out to qual on quality. I was, I was good at that. <laughs> right, so Libya. I can now build more factory. There you go. And up the chimney stacks rise from the ground. Okay, we're going to have CLI ready in a moment, I think. Um... Uh, oh, look at that. I'm almost spot on my production capacity meeting my demand. And with this new factory in Libya, I will be able to go elsewhere. Where shall I pick next? What do you think? What do you think? I've got eight logistics points, so I can go to loads of places. Absolutely loads of places. Maybe even Russia or the US. I imagine they're really big. 
Uh, Your building upgrade has completed. That costs a billion. You have researched a new technology. Okay, so we have CLI, which is an operating system upgrade, which I'm not going to do yet. We'll do that for the next episode. But I now have excess manufacturing capacity, just about, just 500,000. So we need to go into new countries. Let's check this. Where can we go? I can afford pretty much anywhere. But I'm not going to be first into these countries down here because that's just wasteful. I'll let other com If the other companies don't move in there, then I will. Because if I move in there first, then they'll get a huge reduction on the license costs to access that market. And I'm not going to hand that to them. Not on a plate. No way. Jose, Sudan. Well, seeing as I've built a new factory in Libya, and Sudan is, oh, actually, is, is actually, actually next door. Yes, in that little corner border there. Uh, so we could go there. I am getting into the, sort of the Central Asian countries, Kazakhstan. So I could, I was looking at uh, Uzbekistan before you joined me. Uh, I'm nowhere in the Middle East. Well, apart from Oman, which it, it probably is Middle East, isn't it? But people tend to think of this central area more. Uh, as the as the Middle East, uh, Egypt. What's Egypt look like? That's poor. It's cheap. Uh, I could go in there, but there's not many people. So it's, it's, it's less than four million. And what am I going to do with those people? Uh, okay, we'll go into Sudan. We'll buy a license for Sudan. There you go. And how's that for my done for my demand? Is it increased it? Come on, increase my demand. I'm still overproducing. But now I've got so many logis big logistics places, I've got a huge warehouse. The uh, the stockpile of points is uh, 15 million. Oh, I'm getting into Sudan. Am I there yet? How many days will it take? I'm at 9% of the global sales. Oh, come on, Sudan. Come, come home to Phoenix Technology. You want to be part of us those blinking blue guys right and their point scoring being better than me in some things right we're going to leave this episode here i think we're coming up towards the end of 1982 we're at october there we are no hey november sees me get into sudan that is a lovely point at which to stop i think so we will end the episode there but before i do a quick look at our stats. How much have we made so far? <laughs> we have made, and it's only November, we have already made pretty much $350 million. I think I'm doing quite well. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sales. Oh, I've already far outstripped the complete, the, the whole year sales of 1981. Uh, but I mean, that... Well, if you go into big countries, I suppose that's what does does it for you. Customers, uh, Indonesia, India. Oh, Indonesia's taken off. Uh, India, uh, yeah. Kazakhstan, yeah. I'm moving in there. I'm. St oh, Indonesia. That's one of the big eight countries. I am there. And India. Excellent. Yes, yeah, Africa and Argentina. We're kind of us looking at those, but. Yeah, put them to one side for the time being. But I've still got six logistics points, so I could move in there soon. Uh, customers. Uh, oh, but that's, we were on customers. Market share. Oh, I... I oh, if only this graph here could be bigger. I think I am just ahead. If... I may be marginally point of a point ahead of uh, Cheap and Great. I th it looks like Bix is getting squeezed. Yeah, they're yeah they're coming down. Everyone's going down apart from me and Afari. It's going to be a two-horse race soon, so you're going to have to join me in the next episode to see if that happens and just how long those blue people can survive against the onslaught of the Phoenix Technology Computer Revolution. 
that that's me by the way in case you weren't entirely sure so yeah thank you so much for joining me today hope you've enjoyed this episode of computer tycoon if you have it would be lovely to hear from you a, a like would be great click on the old thumbs up button but even better if you've got any thoughts hints tips recommend recommendations suggestions any ideas perhaps as to what technology to research next which countries to move into next or anything you feel like saying about the game criticism of the way i'm playing it or anything you feel like saying just drop it into the comments box below that would be awesome and of course if you've not already subscribed to the channel you could do that now and that way you'll know when i upload another one of these or any of my other let's play series but from me ajax post here in computer tycoon until the next time bye bye for now